Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We're playing some Desktop Dungeons. I just said that. Let's check out the Southern Swamp, maybe. Quite difficult, but provides some nice financial opportunities. We need to beat it with the Rogue. Did I actually buy the Rogue yet? Um, Thief Den. Uh, I think I do have the Rogue. I wish it would tell me. It tells me the available classes, but not the classes I have. I don't know why, but this game does rub me the wrong way sometimes with how it communicates things. Um, we do have the rogue. Okay, let's do the rogue and dwarf plus 10 mana. Um, what does human get? 10% attack bonus. I like that. And let's make, let's do bonus damage again. We could do plus two sword, or what is this? Handy self-defense tool, which also happens to smack other things around 10, 25%. Eh. And I'll, I guess uh, I will bet on boss again, and I'll take this pendant of health. And uh, I'm going to, you know, maybe I will not, um, I, I, I might not do gods again for a while. Or, uh, you know, I guess they're circumstantially good this is gonna mana burn us i don't think that that's actually valuable so we have first strike as a as a rogue i didn't really read what the rogue does 20 percent dodge chance first strike starts with 20 percent dodge Pem a permanent first strike buff negative five health per level but start off with plus 40 percent damage oh that's quite nice actually we got Get and Dare. I don't think that Get and Dare is actually useful to us at all. It does offer a dodge chance, I will say. So maybe Get and Dare is valuable to us. There's a level two. That might be good. I think we can kill this. They have a weakening blow. They weakened us. But we managed to kill them anyway. Um, strikes do one less base damage. All right. Oh, we've got a pendant of mana. I don't like the idea of um, relying on getting dare, I will say, because it's only giving us a 5% dodge. So I'm not sure what we want to do about that. Extra health. Hey, let me see. Let me see might be better in this uh mode than before okay so that's actually pretty good um that's piss orf. i like piss orf. oh we have a wraith i cannot stand the wraiths we also have a zombie that's gonna level us up um good you'll make a fantastic snack hero i've been stuck here chewing on my own tail for ages i'm not afraid I'm not afraid, he te he says himself uh, to himself. Let's uh, use getting there for that dodge chance. The dodge chance, I guess the nicest thing about it is if it does work, it has the chance to make a potential failure into a potential success. And it did actually seem to work a couple of times there. So uh, maybe I am, I am incorrect in my assessment that it's not going to be helpful. So we're at level two. Um, I'm pretty sure this snake is going to be very easily be easily killable we'll level up so we don't have to worry too much about that poison this poison here is going to be kind of a bummer what we could do is do piss orf a couple of times um and then recover some mana and do a getting there i guess piss orf isn't really going to do much it only really matters if we can uh make the first strike happen Oh, that almost recovered them completely. Yeah, that's, com that's totally pointless. Let's have a look at some of these enemies. We've got a Naga. I'm not sure what the... Uh, the Nagas have weakening blows. How do we get rid of weakening? Do we have to, like, level up? I don't like poison. I really, really don't like poison. Uh, admittedly, I think rogue is actually really good. I guess this, this is why the quest calls for rogue is because, uh, yeah, first strike is really decent um, for an area with snakes because it means that you can potentially manipulate things into uh, an easy win. 
Can I push this guy into that potion thing? Oh, okay. I can. It just I thought maybe it would be able to do some damage. I like the music in the swamp. What is that? Okay, zombie. I mean, there's potential for the zombie. Uh, no, we got hit. I was hoping that maybe like we have a one in four chance to dodge, which is actually pretty good. So we could play that the odds a little bit. I don't want to necessarily um, use potions. I, I really am like probably playing things too safe and it's going to actually end up hurting me in the long run. How about this? Why don't we push push the boss there and then we'll push this guy into the boss. And that way, when we hit them, we don't, yeah, like we only need to make this the first strike once. And then that way, mana burn doesn't actually do anything to us. Um, okay, so we're making our way to level four. Uh, I really don't like this. The fact that this serpent still kills us or uh, gets to hit us sucks a lot. Same here. The Naga is also a bummer. I don't, uh, I guess everything here is about weakening you and doing, you know, damage to you. Like you don't want it. You don't want anything to be able to hit you basically at all. Tell you what, let's go ahead and piss off this snake once, twice. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a mana potion and then three times. And then that way we can kill the snake without getting poisoned. And hey, uh, this snake is damaged. We could hit them once. And then first strike is going to allow us to kill them and we'll level up so we don't have to worry about the poison. There you go. That's how you win that situation. Now, it does kind of suck that this snake, this naga here, is just barely able to um, take a hit. So we're going to smack him once and then... Get that, get that first strike. Um, we have a level one over there. There's a level six Naga here. Um, we can take a hit. It, it, just, just barely this Naga over here can, can take a hit. So if we piss off them, oh, okay. That doesn't, piss off doesn't work against um, walls. Good to know. Or sorry, not walls, um, lakes. So why don't we push, push them into the mushrooms and then wait, what, what happened there? Oh yeah. Okay. That's fine. So this is going to put us down to one health, but then we can smack him. So weekend doesn't seem to go away at all. Um, that's a real problem. So that's reducing our base damage every single time we get hit by that permanently. That really sucks. We can kill this warlock. I love the first strike is actually amazing. I, I like I, I do like the rogue. Um, let's push this zombie into that wall. Uh, we're actually going to die if we get hit by them, unfortunately. So we're going to have to recover, which means we're going to have to start over. Can we push them into that plant? We can. Yeah, and now we can kill them. Nice. Um, so we're at level five. We're making incremental progress here. Let's get around this snake. I wish that this plant wasn't here. Can we push the plant? No, I really, I, I seem to recall mentioning this, that the, the plants are feel inconsistent to me. We could do earth mother. Earth mother isn't the worst. Uh, I don't honestly even think that there's a downside to Earth Mother. Maybe they can even um, recover us from the weakened state. <clears throat> All enemies in the current dungeon are eroded. She will purge unnatural auras and weaken those who stand. Okay, so remove curse. She'll remove curse, but not. that's about it. Slows non-plant enemies. Spawns plants. This is not really worth it to us because we don't have we don't need slow. But she'll give us more health, which is the only thing that we're really kind of missing. 
Uh, the nice thing about Earth Mother is we can decide later is because she the the one way to get um, favor with her is by spawning plants. So I'm gonna push this snake up here, and then I'm gonna push them into this wall, and then I'll be able to kill them without taking damage. Um, so I'm not sure where we're at at this point. It seems like a lot of our snack like enemies are to the east side. It's not the north side or the south side. That is correct. Let's kill some more small guys. I don't know. There's not like I I don't like revealing the map unless I'm benefiting from it somehow. Um I can push this guy into that plant. That is an option. But it only really matters if I can get it down to two hits. Two hits would make a difference. Let's see if we can do that. One, two, can I do it? I can't do a third one. So I would need some mana. There's a mana potion right there. I think it would be worth doing a third. We're just barely, you know, okay, there we go. So we can now hit it. We can now hit it twice. There we go. We've leveled up level six now. Oh God, why did it have to be a Naga? Why did it have to be snakes, you know? All right, we have I'm a wall. Oh God, we have I'm a wall now. I'm a wall is really good, but it would have been much better if we'd gotten it a little bit earlier. We do, however, have three level ones on the map. So not bad, actually, like decent. Uh, I think we should convert getting there because it's extra an extra 10% damage. It probably would have been better to do that earlier, but that's fine. I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to reveal some of the map. I'm not finding any enemies. What What is going on here? Okay, we have a sub dungeon. We only have a level one here. Oh, uh, that's... I feel like I should come here when I need some more health. Let's, um, I'm a wall this, like, a, a zombie just so I don't forget to do that. Uh, I really don't want to take more like weakening if I if I can avoid it and we're pretty close I mean uh, not not super close, but we're pretty close to being able to one shot that naga if we Are careful. Okay, so we have a level six kind of about time honestly that we find anything um, Unfortunately, we can't really kill them either so we're going to have to go around them and then piss off them into two walls. All right. So, um, yeah, this is fine. Smack, smack. So we got some extra XP from that. Um, let's come down here. Ooh, there's a mystery down there. I want to recover enough mana. Oh, why did I do that? Wait, did I not get anything from it? Was I able... Was that like the only plant that I can uh, kill without... Oh, I guess I have first strike. Wait, that doesn't... I don't think it matters. Why, why did I not get any adverse effects from that? I really got to watch my misclicks. There's no undo button in this game, and so therefore... Misclicks are just the worst. So what do we have? Oh, nice. Okay, we can kill this warlock. We should um, I'm a wall this guy first, and that way we'll get much more XP. Nice. We've got another god over here. What god? Oh, Tarog. I'm a little bit down on Tarog. I, I gotta say. Because they don't like spells. You know what? Let's um convert. Uh, let me see. I'm going to go ahead and, and convert that. Because, you know, we get bonus um, damage. The, the bonus damage is just too good, honestly. 
Now, the goblin's going to be the one thing that can really take us out because they also have first strike. Um, let's go ahead and I'm a wall something. Maybe this wraith over here. I don't like that a great deal. Because it's the one place where I would like to be able to go over there. Whatever. Um, hmm. Oh, look at that. We've got burned arrays. I think burned arrays is... I think I worked it out as being not as good as Pissorf. Because Pissorf works on your base damage. So, oh, I guess it works out to be the same, doesn't it? I, I do... I do resent some of the convolution in this game a little bit because it's like, okay, so like it's based on base damage if I can hit it into a wall, right? 60% if it's into a wall, 50% if it's another enemy based on your base damage. So like I've gone to a lot of effort to gain bonus ex damage for my character, right? So this, since this works on physical damage, you would think, well, then all of that damage is going to apply, but no, it's not. It's based on your base damage. And the only re way to increase your base damage is to level up so pissorf actually ends up being like not as good as even burned arrays burned arrays um is four four points of magical damage per character level so meaning it's going to be um 24. so it's going to be 24 damage or pissorf which is going to be say 50 percent of your base damage is 25. <laughs> so I guess it is, I guess Pissorf is still better because it is 25. No, wait, sorry. Again, I made the same mistake. 50% of your base damage is actually uh, 14. So it's either 14 or 24. Um, Burned Arrays ends up being better because it's only 30% more Actually, I'm not sure if it's 30% more mana or 50% more mana. I think it's 30%. Either, either way, I think you know what I'm saying. The, the point is, is that Burned Arrays is better, even though Pissorf should be better because it's based on your physical damage. That was a lot of... That was a huge wall of text to mean that I don't like this spell as much as I should. So there's a level eight. It's a meat man. Meat man can actually do some pretty nasty damage to us. We have a mana spell. Oh, what? What? Oh. I didn't mean to do that at all. Did not mean to do that. And that's where, where I say that this game really needs an undo button. Straight up needs an undo button. That sucks. The big one. Okay, there's a level six. We can take out the level six, maybe. Yeah. Did they have first strike? Did they first strike me just now? I mean, there is definitely an argument to be made for Torog, but it's too late now. It's so late in the game. I don't actually think it'll make much difference. So we have 12 mana. That, that was kind of what I was waiting for. Because that means that I can actually hit Meat Man twice. Hey, we actually dodged. Incredible. Oh, I should have... Oh my god. I, I should have... I'm a walled something before I did that. God damn it. Someone's going to probably at me with like, what, what is the rewind feature? If not, um, an undo button. It's not, I, I would not count that. I, I think that that is almost a bad faith argument. Cause it like, it rewinds a lot. So you have to redo at least half the level. I'm not a huge fan. Okay, can we start taking out these guys yet? 
Yes, actually. So one burn to raise is enough to um, take out those guys. Okay, let's... I'm a wall that level one there just so that I don't have to remember to do that. Wow, this goblin's going to kill us in one blow. That sucks. We could take out this wraith and that would actually level us up. Uh, ah, but I could also kill this um, serpent. And that would also level us up, but it's worth doing it now because it's going to be worth more experience now. Solid. <clears throat> so we're level eight. Goblin still kills us in one move. God, that sucks. I don't remember if Earth if slowing down the goblin means they don't have first strike. I think it's supposed to work that way, but it doesn't seem to. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and worship Earth Mother. Um pretty sure I'm just gonna check the map to see if plant um turning every blood splatter into a plant negatively affects the map in any way, and it doesn't seem to. I think we'll actually be totally fine. Um, mana per plant. So this will give us 10. Restoring one mana each. So this is worth doing uh, for extra mana instead of using potions. We'll definitely do green blood once. Eh, we can do twice. We'll do vine form twice. This corrodes the enemies in case you're wondering why I did that. Um, vine form is going to continue to be a good take. But what I'd like to see is I'm going to entangle just to see. Yeah, okay, so. They're slowed, but I don't think that that actually buys us anything. But we can actually take a hit from them now. So let me see. Let me just double check this. If I use entanglement one more time. Ah! Okay, so I, I'm wrong. Uh, slow actually does remove first strike. Highly worth it. Did I have bonus XP? I sure hope I did. I probably didn't. <laughs> okay, you know what? Now is a great opportunity to go down here. Wait, what? What was that? I'm, I, I, I thought I clicked on the passageway, but was there a plant there that I missed? Oh, right. There's a... Uh, I can only walk on... Oh, am I going to regret losing... Uh, let me see. <sighs> yeah, I am. Let me see is how I get over there. Man. Why you gotta, game? Why? Why do you gotta... We have another I'm a wall over here. Let's convert that. Extra bonus XP. Um, we could hit the serpent. That would get us to 33, which is pretty close. Is there anything else on the map that would help us? Yeah, this wraith. Um, if I could smack this serpent. Oh, no, I don't need to smack them. I could just burn them. We'll burn them twice, and that will let me kill them. And then we're going to go ahead and, um, what is this? Slowed, erosive, ill, Ill curses me, right? Okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'm a wall, one of the last remaining snacks on the floor. And then I'm going to go ahead and kill this wraith, and that should level us up. I wonder, actually, we just dodged. You know what? Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit this serpent guy once. Smack. And, oh, wow, we dodged? Heck yeah, bud. Let's smack him again. Cool. So now they, they, they've they hit us. Now we can kill this wraith over here. That'll level us up. We're full health. And we win. We don't even have to use any potions. Look at that. That feels good. I feel really good about that. It's about darn time I, I get a, you know, like that is a very solid victory. 
We are poisoned. I, I am gonna try and kill everything on the map. I wonder if I could have gotten to level 10 if I had just, like, I'm a walled another thing. I probably could have. Oh well. Um, let's do this a couple times. Why? Um, reason being is, uh, there might be achievements for, uh, you know, worshipping gods. Uh, so let's go down here and just double check. Yeah, that's really frustrating. I don't, I don't like let me see. I, I, I find it to be a pretty not great spell. Um, but the fact that it tends to be a solution for puzzles is is a source of frustration for me but anyway we we i bought that sword so that i could put it in our locker nice the serpent fang is worth more since i i'm pretty sure i always bet on boss always bet on boss i don't think it really costs you anything to do that Snake-like denizens of the southern swamplands guard their treasure jealously, but they don't do it well enough. Your hero re returns to the kingdom with a big bag of loot and a very wide grin. This massive gold hall has renewed interest in this swamp region, and explorers are charting out more territory as we speak. Hope they don't get swamped. Ah. Uh -huh. Sold it. Sold that item. Nice. Um, well, that's going to do it for this episode. We can upgrade the mage tower. So let's go ahead and do that. We now have sorcerers. Nice. Enemy unlocked goat. Great and infallible kingdom and administrator. The recent wizard's tower expansion had unforeseen consequences. In the process of relocating the menagerie ma magica to a higher floor, we've inadvertently allowed several hundred thousand magically enhanced Enchanted goats to escape into the wild. Experiments of an undisclosed nature have appar apparently rendered the goats somewhat magic resistant and even more homicidal than usual. You made goats worse? Does that mean we can do stuff here yet? No, we need 3,000 gold to get the goat person class. Uh, all right. Well, that is going to do it. Wonder why wonder why these have stars and others don't. Oh yeah, lockable items. Let's go ahead and drag that over there. So now we have a fine sword and pendant of health. We can take either of those as an option in the future. Um if you are enjoying the series, definitely help help me out. Um support the series, click that like button and consider subscribing if you are looking for more desktop dungeons content. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.